New tonight, a former U.S. Border Patrol agent is headed to prison after being convicted on drug distribution and bribery charges. CBS 8's Brian White was at the federal courthouse for his sentencing. The level of betrayal here is a reflection of Mr. Hernandez's greed. 55-year-old Hector Hernandez sentenced to seven years and three months in prison today after admitting he took bribes to smuggle narcotics and people across the U.S.-Mexico border while on duty. Public servants take an oath, and when we take that oath, we honor it and we stand by it. Nearly four months ago, Hernandez pleaded guilty to receiving bribes and attempted distribution of methamphetamine. He admitted to using his role as a Border Patrol agent to open restricted border fences to allow people to illegally enter the United States in exchange for cash payments of $5,000 per opening. Later on, he was offered $20,000 to move narcotics. And in that particular instance, he picked up a bag of methamphetamine from the United States-Mexico border and carried it to his residence. After work, he went back to his house, got the methamphetamine, and took it to an undercover agent where he was arrested. Agents then conducted a search of his Chula Vista home, finding cash and cocaine, which he admitted was for personal use. They found 7.7 .7 grams of cocaine in a gun box in his closet. And then in various areas of the master bedroom, they located a little over $131,000 of U.S. currency. He admitted at least $110,000 of that cash was from proceeds he received in connection with his narcotics trafficking and bribery activities. In his plea agreement, Hernandez acknowledged he took Mexico-based smugglers on a tour of the southern border, showing them the best places to sneak people into the U.S., also showing them how best to evade surveillance cameras. It's much easier sometimes when you're dealing with folks who are perhaps less sophisticated. So when we're talking about doing this with law enforcement, we have to be very careful and surreptitious with our methodology. According to U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of California, Tara McGrath, Hernandez's corruption is not a reflection on the nearly 2,000 Border Patrol agents serving in the San Diego sector. They put their lives at risk by going out into the snake-infested heat of the sector and the area where they patrol. The vast majority of those people act with honor and integrity. At the federal courthouse, Brian White, CBS 8.